The items you require for this easy chain cleaning technique are some white spirit, a rag, some master link pliers. Now these make the removal of the chain a whole lot easier. A piece of wire bent into a hook. This is the earth wire from some mains cable. And two empty milk containers, plastic containers with lids and you just fill each one with a little bit of white spirit. It doesn't have to be a huge amount. The chain of my commuting bike is not too bad but there's a lot of grit in there which will act like a cutting paste. So I do like to use this technique to clean my chain on a regular basis. Before I start I like to just wipe the chain down with a cloth just to clear some of the grit that's on the surface of the chain. Then I need to find the master link which is here so just track that round and place it at the bottom. Right I've identified the master link is here now using my pliers I just go either side and gently squeeze. And then that's it, it should just come off. Just release the tension, just be careful to take the master link off each end and then you can remove the chain. That can be just pulled through. This is another good reason to clean the chain a little bit before you take it off otherwise you get really mucky. Right now we get our dirty chain and just place it into the container. Put the lid on and give it a good shake. Now it's a bit like being in a washing machine. This is getting into all the nooks and crannies and just getting rid of all that grit. I'm not sure if soaking will help. I suppose if you've got a really badly uh, soiled chain you can leave it to soak but a good old shake seems to do the trick. Right now we take the lid off and go fishing. So this is what you need the hook for. It's quite bubbly in there at the moment, it's quite hard to see. Um, <laughs> there we go. Now already you can see that's quite shiny. I'll just get the cloth and just give it as a wipe as it's coming out. Sometimes you get a little knot like this. You can sort that out later. And there we are. Now what I'm doing is just clearing off some of the white spirit and the muck before it goes in the next container. So this first one was to get the initial muck off and the second one is, is clean white spirit and that will be for the second application. So you can see that is pretty horrible. Right, into the second container. Put the lid on and repeat. Right, I've just fished out the chain from the rinse cycle. Um, I'm just going to give it a wipe like before as it comes out. Now you can see this chain is absolutely spotless and uh, just drying off the excess white spirit will help. There we are. Now it's worth doing this a couple of times trying to get as much as you can off. Um, once you've done that you could always get a hair dryer and just dry it off that way or leave it to dry naturally. That's the good thing about white spirit, it will evaporate. 
and uh, it's then ready for lubrication in a very short period of time. There we are, absolutely pristine. Before putting a nice clean chain on the bike, I'm obviously going to clean the rest of the mechanics. So I'll just put some citrus degreaser on here and round here and a little bit round the chain ring. I'll clean this mechanically, leave it to soak and then I'll just wash it off and that will hopefully be enough. I'm now ready to relink the chain. I'll just get the master link which has been pre-cleaned on both ends of the chain and then just bring together. And then that's it. Now the master link is here and you don't really need a tool, you just need to stand on the pedal and uh, the energy of that will actually lock that in place so it's nice and secure. There is a tool for securing it but I, I didn't bother to buy one. Right, as you can see the chain is absolutely clean. All we need to do now is lubricate it. I tend to use this separate ride, I quite like it, it's not too heavy. Uh, you do need to shake the bottle first and it is like water so when you apply it you've got to be very careful but it just streams on and that is it. Just carry on running the chain for a little while to let it soak in and then that's good to go. All done.